Canadian National Railroad tracks here in Carroll Stream. Looks like this is a siding here. Not sure how much farther we can go without getting without uh, you know getting hurt. I need these plants. Let's see if we can crawl back here. See the main line right here, little main line to the spur. No one's ever probably come back this far for a while. Tracks haven't probably been operated on in at least uh, 20 or 30 years. They've tore out all the crossings, but these tracks are in terrible disrepair. And I'm, I'm not going to go back any farther than this, but obviously absolutely no train has been on these tracks in years and years and years and there's absolutely no way a train can operate on these tracks back there is just the road uh, you follow this probably goes for a you know uh, a couple more yards probably love to get up to the switch we're pretty close to a switch let's see if I can get up here don't want to get too far from civilization see how far back we can climb back here Get access to the switch. Ugh. This is what. This is real exploring right here. Oh, we're a, bit, a little bit farther than I thought. And there's little. There's literally trees growing out of these railroad tracks. Which we're coming up to a switch here. I really want to see this switch. And I may just have to abort the mission if I can't get back here any farther. I'm gonna end up getting hurt here. Yeah, I'm not going back any farther. This is impossible, but if you're ever in Carroll Stream, Illinois, come check these tracks out. This is not the only abandoned railroad tracks that are out here. Here we go, trying to get back to civilization. Could get in trouble being back here. This is private property. So, probably should not be back here. I thought I could get to the switch, but a little bit farther off than I thought. There should be a, there are, there is another switch we, she can access a little bit easier. I'll show you guys when we get out here. Again, these were the former Illinois Central tracks uh, but now this is the Canadian National Freeport Subdivision. It come off of this, off of uh, like North Avenue, Chernantagiri, and it's right back here on these uh, in this in industrial office area, this industrial area. This is real exploring right here. Get some, actually get up here, get some fresh air for a minute see the split here pick up some railroad spikes came off pretty easily can go ahead and uh, bring these home like dip them in something like rust-oleum and completely restore them this is the siding track got some ties here got a little metal plate here not sure what this would be for I think this is to hold down the spikes got some weight to it and a lot of other railroad related stuff back here. If you're ever in Carroll Stream, this is definitely a place you don't want to miss if you're uh, an explorer. Except I would not go back any further than that because uh, you'd have to, to bring a sharp object with you to battle those plants. But these spikes will come right out. Some of them will. These ones are pretty firm still, but yeah. Take a guess as to how long a train's been back there. Probably not in years. And again, come up here. They tore, this crossing was here. There was a crossing here a couple years ago, just a standard crossing with just the cross bucks, but they have since taken that out because this, uh, it's quite obvious why they took that crossing out. So the school bus drivers probably, there is a, uh, the Illinois Central School Bus Base is over there somewhere. 
for Carroll Stream, and uh, if there aren't any school buses driving back here. Um, they probably don't have to like to to uh, to look both ways and open the doors for a like railroad track that doesn't operate anymore. Everything past the crossing does still uh, the like, like Canadian National does still operate on that. But um, then if you go down, you keep following the line. Except I I take it by car. Just take the street down there, and if you follow uh, like Gary Avenue, pretty much down to the Lies Road crossing. Go on to Lies Road, and there is a whole nother spur of this track. It goes way back there, and it uh, is uh, it, it's basically the same thing as that. It's a little bit easier to navigate, but uh, it's still you can still uh, explore that track. But this is only one of the spurs here in Carroll Stream that has is definitely no longer operational. Interesting. Not sure if these have anything to do with the railroad or not. Most, most likely they do. Got a little bit of overgrowth here. Covers up the road bed. You can probably get a, you know, put the crossing back in. You can probably get a train, like, right up to there. But you'd, you'd have to struggle with getting the train over that. But uh, obviously a large train could handle that, no problem. Again, this is a part of the uh, Canadian National Fr uh, Freeport subdivision that runs out to Freeport from Chicago. And uh, this was this used to serve the businesses back here, very industrial area, but it no longer operates, obviously. Not this part. Now you guys can see that that, that track is very, uh, it, it almost looks like it stops down there. I, I They could have cut it off from there, but I think there's a curve back there and it goes all the way out to uh, to North Avenue toward that way but you guys can see that absolutely no way a train can get back here there's like not even any tracks here like there used to be so you guys can see where they cut out the crossing <sighs> yeah if you're ever in Carroll Stream come down here and uh, take a look it's a little bit industrial back here it's kind of a sketchy area but oh here's the rail a little bit of a sketchy area, but definitely worth coming back here if you're uh, if you're into abandoned railroads. Definitely a cool place to come, pick up some old railroad ties or spikes. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.